Hello students. Now in the previous lecture we discussed the elements of drama and uh, a little bit information about the drama and the definition of also drama. Now in this lecture we are going to study a short history of drama. Uh, many points are given here. Uh, likewise introduction to the English theatre, then Elizabethan and Restoration theatre, then modern theatre and Indian theatres have given. So one by one we are going to discuss uh, about the history of drama. So first of all introduction, we must know the introduction or we must know the history of the drama actually. Now here few points are given on the slide. So first is what drama, okay, drama has its origin in folk theatre. So why did this drama consider in the literature? Because totally literature means what here? Literature, uh, we cannot consider totally the drama in the literature. But what here? Drama is based on, drama is going on or drama goes on the basis of the dialogues and dialogues are written in the language. Okay, words are there in the dialogue. So dialogue has come finally in the literature. But in the, in the beginning, drama has its origin in folk theatre. Loka Kale Madhe Tiyaza Pahila Sama Veshuta. So we cannot consider drama merely as a part of a literature. Why we cannot consider drama merely as a part of a literature? Because in the drama, multiple arts are used like word, scene effect, music, gestures of the actor and, org and then organizing talent of a producer. Everything is given. Okay. So we cannot consider drama merely as a part of literature. Then words are medium of literature as an art. Why it has been why it has been considered in the literature? Because word are the medium of literature as an art. And many things are included. Many things means here combination of words, sign, uh, scenic effect, music, gestures of the actors, and the organizing talent of a producer. Next, drama is a multiple art of using like uh, we have discussed. These are the things uh, included in the drama. In the origin or in the beginning of drama in England are obscure. Obscure means what? Unclear. Vague drama was there. In the beginning, vague, vague dramas were there. After that, there is evidence to believe that when the Roman were in England, they established amphitheatres. See very carefully. Now we are going to talk about the English theatre. How did they begin? Okay. In the beginning of drama in England, the play were obscure. Obscure means here unclear. They didn't have best. They didn't have purpose. Unclear, uh, unclear dramas were there. But when Roman were in the England, they established vast amphitheaters of the production of play. They developed or they established amphitheaters. Amphitheaters means what? I will explain you or I will show you the figure or the image of this amphitheaters. Means what here? Amphitheaters were open. Uh, open to all means what here uh, around the stage there was the there was a, a arrangement for the audience and one side there was a stage tini side la loka basaychi eka side la stage everywhere everywhere audience were there so this is called amphitheaters when the roman departed their theater departed with them now after getting means after uh, getting freedom england uh, means i am talking about england after england got uh, what year after england got independence roman left from the england and when roman departed 
their theater departed with them and they took all the theater means they are they were not they did, uh, means did not take all the theaters with them but they departed means roman departed their theaters departed means popularity became decreased okay this is the image of amphitheaters see here the play here this is a stage let me see you this is the cursor this is the stage and everywhere audience arrangement is there so this is one of them okay this is the amphitheater and this is one of them okay. so now here after the amphitheaters there were means 12 then after going the means when the roman departed what year the amphitheaters departed after that minstrel came minstrel means what here is the picture of minstrel means music singing dancing each each and everything is in the in the minstrel minstrel means it is american form of entertainment which consisted comic skills means dialogues were there variety of acts were there dancing uh, was also there and music was also performed in it people enjoyed their performances after the amphitheaters minstrel came okay this is the image now between the 13th and 14th century drama were separated from religion before 13th the drama were based on the religion but in between 13th and 14th century dramas were separated from the religion the character would speak in english a longer dramatic script came into use okay the script came into use means they started using script before that singing or uh, monologue in this type of uh, acting was being done there were three different types of play performed during medieval type time हे ड्रामा रिलिजन च सेपरेटेड होते द कैरेक्टर वुड स्पीक इन इंग्लिश कैरेक्टर्स है इंग्लिश मधन बोला लैंग्वेज यूज कराए अ लॉन्गर ड्रामेटिक स्क्रिप्ट कैम स्क्रिप्ट कैम टू इन टू यूज स्क्रिप्ट यूज कर एंड देर वेर थ्री डिफरंट टाइप्स ऑफ प्ले परफॉर्म ड्यूरिंग मेडिवल टाइम दे आर मिस्ट्री प्ले मिस्ट्री प्ले मीन्स ही अवॉर्ड देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ प्ले मिस्ट्री miracle play and morality play so let us talk about the mystery play mystery mystery play means here story taken from the bible mystery uh, in that mystery play story taken from the bible each play had four or five different scenes or acts baga the story was taken or story is taken from the bible biblical stories were taken Each play had four or five different scenes or acts. Okay, in the play, only priests or monks would act as an actor. Means priests or monks were monks were the actors in the play. Each act, listen to me. Each act or scene was performed at a different place in the town. प्रत्येक सीन प्रत्येक ऐक्ट हा वेगवेगा परफॉर्म के पीपल हैड टू मूव फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनादर टू सी द प्ले सी बाइब्लिक स्टोरीज दे टूक बाइब्लिक स्टोरीज फर्स्ट एंड द प्ले कंटेन्ड फाइव टू फोर फोर टू फाइव डिफरेंट स्टोरी सीन्स और प्लॉट्स और सॉरी ऐक्ट्स priests and monks maithe church madhe asta te priest and monks priest and monks were the actors and each act or scene was performed at different place in the town and the audience or the people had to move from one place to another to see the play and finally one more feature of this mystery play was the play usually ended at the church so that 
the people would go to the church for sermon after finishing the play manje jene karun lok tithe javit ani ani tani tithe te natak baghav so usually mystery plays ended at the church so that the people would go there and after finishing the play mystery play the people would go to listen the sermon in the church so that was the uh, first motive behind it so mystery plays uh, mystery plays this is all about the mystery plays miracle plays it was about the life or action of a saint and miracle happened in the play okay so nothing Uh, means uh, nothing uh, more information about this means nothing more than that so miracle play means what miracle happened in the play it was about the life or action of a saint morality play so miracle play means what based on the miracle miracle happened and uh, here what is important action of saint was important it was about the life or action of a saint saint you know that then mor morality plays morality play means morality play means what here it is a kind of allegorical drama allegorical means symbolic drama symbolic having personified abstract qualities as the main character personified abstract qualities as the main character and the presenting a lesson of good conduct and character means here one character personal personified abstract qualities or one character presenting a lesson of good conduct and character so in short what mortality plays are mortality uh, plays they are secular okay they were secular manje swatantra hote the and secular means what non religious uh, plays were there and the secular mortality plays have direct link with elizabethan plays okay and in that elizabethan means mortality the renaissance imposed a learned tradition classical in depth with themes of education general moral problems and secular politics means usually in short what mortality plays tells or mortality plays would tell the lesson of good conduct and character in short second point is moral lessons were taught the story usually follow a path where the protagonist is tempted to the sin by the antagonist je pailanda protagonist manje hero we discussed in previous lecture the protagonist means main character is tempted attracted to the sin toward the sin means bad conduct by the antagonist by the villain and only god does the protagonist find the right direction and finally it was seen in the mortality play that god came and changed the protagonist behavior and finally the god would show the right direction to the protagonist mortality plays were originally quite serious in tone and style they they were quite serious with tone and style these are the mortality plays and as i said that kinds of allegorical drama having personified abstract qualities as the main character okay and presenting a lesson of good conduct or good character okay uh, this is the information about only the first point introduction to the english theater uh, then we will in the next lecture we will give uh, means i will give you information about elizabethan and restoration theater uh, here i am going to uh, stop because uh, previous lecture today's previous lecture is uh, too much uh, lengthy and uh, so you just uh, take a look of the introduction uh to the english theater and in the next lecture we will discuss in deep